ready for testing. Same track, same speed. Let's see how it stacks up. Their pimped out ride should reduce the drag on the bike and make it far more fuel efficient and thereby minimize its harmful emissions. Now it's time to put my money where my mouth is and see whether this thing does what it was designed to do, which is to improve the aerodynamic efficiency of this motorcycle and hence reduce its impact on the planet. Hopefully it'll do that and I won't crash or something in the process. <laughs> oh, the prototype approaches. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I am, I'm all set. All right, on the green flag. Bubble bike in three, two, one, go! <laughs> uh, he's done. Bubble bike test in three, two, one, go! That's the second time he popped the clutch on the starting line. After an identical start, it's an identical course, starting with a pedal-to-the-metal blast of freeway driving. <laughs> Lap one is away. <laughs> you know those old films of, like, people trying to take off of cliffs and flying machines and they crash when they land? That's exactly what that thing looks like. Yeah. I'm getting to like this. Then it's science fiction in motion as Jamie puts the bubble through its city driving paces. It's getting kind of hot in here. All right, Jamie, this is your last lap. Last lap. And with that, Jamie's bubbly ride comes to an end. <laughs> nice work, man. You are done. How'd that feel? This thing is crazy, but... I kind of like it. I'll tell you, it looks like a weird kind of primordial airplane every time it takes off down the lane. It's gorgeous. <laughs> this thing really made me nervous at first because you can really feel the wind, a little gust, and it, it kind of pushes you sideways. But after a while, I started to dig it because it doesn't involve the kind of buffeting that you normally have on a motorcycle. You know, you're going down the road like this, and this thing is just smooth as butter. Occasionally, you kind of glide a little this way or that way if there's a strong wind. But uh, it seems to work quite well. The only question here is whether it takes less power to push it through the air. And that, from inside here, I can't really tell. We'll have to let the computer tell us. Indeed. Finally, it's down to the emissions data to either confirm or burst this eco bubble. I wish we had a second bike. Then we could ride the two of them off into the sunset, you know? Huh. Sure, why not? <laughs>